God had blessed our family. My wife and I uh, had three beautiful miracle babies that we weren't supposed to have. Things are going great. She had just recorded an album. I was in California preaching and I got a call from my 10 year old son, dad, mommy can't walk, something's wrong. And I'm walking him through calling an ambulance to the house while I could get on a plane. I fly home from a revival and uh, I come home to the news that she had an aggressive form of leukemia called AML and they gave her two weeks to live. Mm. My life changed completely overnight. Uh, I, I was being strong for her, being strong for my three children, trying to figure out ministry. And God did extend her life. And we thank the Lord for six more months that we had with her. And it was a roller coaster. There were days when we thought we had a miracle. Then there was difficult days. In October of 2016, she ultimately passed away. And we could, we could focus on on the difficult days, but God took this tragedy and turned it into a testimony for his glory that left an imprint on my children's heart that I believe is going to take them to heaven. It was those last days with Jessica. Uh, people came into the hospital with guitars. They were singing. That's, you know, this, that's how believers, we, we celebrate life, even in, even in the pain. And uh, she had gotten to the point where she could no longer speak, but she'd give us hand signals. And so, uh, people are singing in the room, and I said, Jessica, do you want them to keep singing? And she put her finger up, asked her three times. And second time, and the third time she shook it, and I jokingly say, I think that was our last argument. She just, you know, she's like, I'm kind of going through something here. I've said yes three times. Uh, but my kids saw that, and that's the key. My kids saw that her final act on this earth was to give God praise. Mm. And it did something to my kids. They were angry. They, they were confused. But something stirred up in them. And they came to her deathbed and they said, Mom, I'm going to make you proud. I'm going to live for God. I'm going to obey my dad. And if it wouldn't have been such an emotional moment, I would have stopped and gotten a video because now they're all teenagers. And I wish they would remember that they told their mother <laughs> that they were going to obey their father. But they did it. I, I was there. <laughs> but it was, it, it, it was my, my oldest, Cole. He said, Mommy, I know you always wanted to see me get baptized. And if Daddy gives me permission, I'm going to be baptized at your funeral. And he got his younger brother and, 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 and sister, and he said, I'm getting baptized and you need to get baptized. You need to get baptized. And that's exactly what we did at her funeral. We baptized those three children for the remission of their sins. Amen. The Holy Spirit descended on our children and our worst day. I say turned into our best day mm. because salvation came to our home. Mm. I buried her in the ground. I buried them in water. <laughs> one is death. One is life. One is sickness. One is healing. One is depression. One is joy. And that day I was able to say like the New Testament declares death. Where is thy sting grave? Where is thy victory? It, it provoked something in my children. What should have quenched their faith, provoked their faith. 